The Federal Aviation Administration presents one of its five next-gen transformational programs, NNEW Next-Gen Network-Enabled Weather. In today's national airspace system, weather sensors and processors provide data and products to systems via hardwired point-to-point communications. Different systems will often go to various sources for information describing the same weather, which can lead to consistency problems. Other systems just don't have access to the weather information needed. What if there was a way to make all weather information available to all of the users who could benefit from that data? What if for every point in space, at a given time, the best weather information could be accessed by anyone? That is the goal NNU is going to achieve through the concept of the four-dimensional weather data cube. This virtual repository of weather data will be enabled through the use of services and standards to make universal access to weather information possible. All types of users, from air traffic controllers to airlines to general aviation pilots, can get the weather data and information they need for decision making across all phases of flight. Curious how exactly this 4D weather data cube works? Through the use of registries and repositories, consumers can access the cube to locate and retrieve weather data from various databases across the country. The cube is not a single system that compiles weather data to one source. Instead, it uses advanced information technology standards to make distributed weather available via what virtually appears to users as a single database. Additionally, the cube will allow for users to retrieve a specific subset of weather information, such as weather along a flight trajectory. Though the 4D weather data cube is focused on aviation weather, it is not limited to FAA systems. National Weather Service, Department of Defense, NASA, industry, and other potential users will all participate as well. NNU is the program that will implement the FAA's portion of the 4D weather data cube. This will provide FAA users with the benefits of the cube, such as universal access to timely and accurate aviation weather data to support decision making. The FAA is currently developing the standards and other tools needed to achieve the 4D weather data cube. Annual NNU IT demonstrations have been performed to validate the yearly progress. The current demo is a web-based tool which provides weather data access and cataloging using open standards, metadata tagging, and a registry repository. Using these tools, disparate data sets physically located at three research labs are all made available virtually, as can be seen in this footage. On the left side of the screen, as the user selects a weather product, in this case METARS, the right screen shows the data flow as the system queries the registry for METARS. The registry then returns the location of that data set, allowing the system to retrieve and display the METAR data requested. As more data sets are selected, the system is directed to more sources of data. As many as four distinct data sources can be seen in the right window. As the map is resized and moved, the system knows to reconnect to the multiple data sources and retrieve updates for the new request. Flight delays cost the United States $41 billion per year. Weather accounts for 70% of those delays. Next-gen network-enabled weather is working to implement the FAA portion of the four-dimensional weather data cube. This work will provide the weather dissemination infrastructure for all of next-gen through the implementation of a standards-based virtual weather database. Access to this weather information will provide a common weather picture to users, make that weather information available to users and decision support tools, and allow for planning for weather along a flight trajectory. These capabilities provided by NNU will help to decrease weather delays and improve capacity and efficiency of air travel, all while enhancing safety. 
For more information, please visit the NNU website.